applying pressure to the max. They told me I'll make it far. They told me I'll make it far. They told me I'll make it far. I'm just driving out the car. I need a hundred grand large. Free my homies out of bars. They told me I'll make it far. I'm just driving out the car. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabari Harris. I'm your host and the provider. And on this episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show, um, waiting for a special guest uh, about to join me, waiting for her to log in, uh, join the video, uh, 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 advertise this interview earlier in the day. So just waiting for her to get uh, herself situated on her end um, with the video wise. Uh, Jay, just bear with me. Yeah, this this conversation is going to be a nice conversation. Obviously, it's going to be sports based, but we're going to definitely get into the drama, to the spicy stuff that's off the field of play, off the court of play. Um, we're going to do all that. You just uh, join the join the request video. Yeah, we're going to talk about the, you know, the stuff that been going on throughout the course of the week per se. That's not uh, going on in the X's O in the basketball game or the football game. But can't wait to get her perspective on this. It's going to be a good conversation. So wait for her video to pop up and get this thing going. Uh, I think something happened with the video. Try to you know, get the video. Okay, there we go. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for joining the Fresh Bar Sports hey. Show. Uh, uh, everybody uh, coming to the show. I got Shayla. Uh, thank you for joining uh, joining the Fresh Water Sports Show. Thank you for doing this again. You can hear me? Yeah, hold on a second. Let me turn this music down a little bit. Can you turn it down a little bit? Yeah, you got the vibes over there turned up over there. Got the music oh, in the background. Listen, look. <laughs> Listen, don't get me started. Don't okay. get me started, all right? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, I already we, told we'll you there. it was going. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I, see, I see you doing good. Everything's going good. Before we dive heavy into the to, to, to the to the sports topics, can you know maybe some may don't know. Um, I, I know my audience not familiar. Do you have any sports background growing up? Whether you played a team that you like, any any of that other sort that you want to fill the audience in about before we get into the other stuff. I mean, I mean, I've always been a Steelers fan for as long as I can remember. You so already I mean, know Steelers Nation in the building. Even though you know, like I really like at first, I really didn't understand the game and there. I really didn't understand the game and everything yeah. like that. But, I mean, now, you know, I get a little understanding everything when I be watching mm -hmm. it. So, you know, I definitely go to the little football parties and stuff like that, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But. Okay, so you be tapped in with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't, you don't like basketball or anything? No, not really. Um, okay. So you're not familiar yeah. with Kobe Bryant? You don't know him? I mean, yeah, I, I know, I know yeah, Kobe. Not, I know not, Kobe. Yeah, I know yeah, Kobe. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, okay, okay. To Kobe. Though, because that yeah. shit. I mean, that's yeah. that's that's crazy. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, I know. Definitely. It's a though. very unfortunate, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, nah, I, I just like I said, I just wanted to know you had a sports team. I'm, I'm glad to know that you uh, you know, you you fellow uh, part of the Stutter Nation. So that's good to know. Um. Football, gotta go here. How do you feel about the artist? Usher Raymond being the Super Bowl halftime super show, uh, show for uh, Super Bowl the halftime show. I don't know nothing about that. You don't know about that. Oh, yeah, you don't know so about that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's supposed to be performing or something? Yeah, he's doing the halftime show. He's he's the he's, he's the main act. I mean, he, 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 this is his show. I, mean, I feel like that's, that's a good pick. I mean, you don't like Usher? I like Usher. I, I like his music. I know some of his okay. music. I know, you know, his words and everything. But okay. I mean, who do you think? No, you know, usually everybody go for Beyonce. Uh, well, she did it twice already. I mean, how many times you want her to do it? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, though, like, yeah. I mean, it's good for Usher. Like, you got yeah, picked out of all people. Good. Like, they could have picked Because it's in Las Vegas, by the way. You know, he, uh, for disclosure, the Super Bowl is going to be in Las Vegas. Obviously, his residency is already in Las Vegas. So it's like, it, it's, it's only right. But my, my biggest thing is to you, um, who you think he should bring out? I'm a big Chris Brown fan. I think that'd be great for Chris Brown, and that be I, I think that'd be great for Chris Brown. It's a nice gesture, uh, you know what I mean, for Usher to do that for Chris Brown. And I think the dance moves between them two that'd be the greatest performance of all time. Obviously, they do have a hit together, and they can make another song uh, together before yeah. that. But but who do you think? I mean, I definitely feel like he might bring Chris Brown out. Okay. 
as a special guest. But you never know. They always put a low key. That, you know, these artists they go for people that actually catch people attention. So, so don't, 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 don't. You know, don't shade me or nothing like that. But I feel like he might bring out somebody crazy, like Sexy Red or something oh. like that. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Out okay. With Nicki Minaj or something yeah. like that. Like, you never yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta um, keep your mind open to things at points. Did you catch Rihanna's Super Bowl halftime performance last year? I'm sure you heard of it, but I'm saying, did you catch it? I'm, I'm sure you heard of her. She was performing pregnant at the, the Super Bowl this halftime show last year. Her first child, right? Not the second one. Yeah. No, no, it's the, the, the child that she's pregnant to now. When she did the red and the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Bowl yeah, halftime yeah, show yeah, yeah. earlier yep. this year. Yeah. Okay, you caught that? You look, did, you, did you like that? I mean, I, mean, uh, I know. It was dope. Know. I mean, it was not like something special because, you know, Beyonce did it. Cardi did it. Yeah. He doing it. You know what I'm saying? So. But it was cute, you know, it catch a lot of female attention, not a lot of male mm -hmm. attention, but it's cute, you know, we get emotional over stuff like that. We childbearing yeah. and everything. So Yeah. And she was she was like floating in the air on top of that on all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was dope. Okay, oh, okay. Oh yeah, she had definitely had the audience shock. She had audience shock. They had a close up of Chris Brown. He was shocked. They was like, Oh, yeah, she yeah. Did that. yeah, they all did that. Yeah, everybody's surprised, you know, because um most people are not doing that not being pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just gonna say what it is. Let me move, let me move on to uh, a, a controversial person. Full disclaimer, I'm not a big fan of this guy, but it involves my sports world, so I gotta touch on it and, and um, his whole foolishness. The, 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 the rapper Blueface received a lot of black backlash from, you know, social media and mainly the quarterback's wife of, of the Rams, uh, Matthew Stafford, his, his wife. Uh, she knows she got a little podcast and and that uh, her complaints made rounds. She 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 she's uh, upset that while he's uh, proposing to, to 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 Jada, you know, in that video, obviously in the suit in the suite, he has strippers there. Bro, actually, strippers, obviously, I guess, uh, you know, half naked per se at the football game. She she doesn't uh, did not like that because her kids nephews on social media see the strippers. This that the third. My question is, besides his page, the kids on social media go and see other half-naked stuff anywhere else regardless. Uh, Shitty brought strippers to the game. I mean, they security could have, could have stopped them prior to getting there, so everybody's deemed it to be okay. So I, I see no harm, no foul on this particular situation involving the blue face. But what, what's your take on that or your feelings about that? So, so like, he had the kids there when while the strippers were there? No, no. Her kids seen it on social media. I mean, uh, they're in their suite. There's different suites and stuff like oh, that, different rooms. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but they, they have social media. When, when he, he was going to end up yeah. seeing it regardless. I mean, I, don't, I would say not to corrupt the children. You know, let but nowadays they're on social media anyway. Have... I mean, they they gonna be scrolling, looking at whatever. I mean, obviously, if, they're if gonna always be a, God, a public figure, public life, whatever you want to call it, because of their parents. At the end of the day, they're going to see stuff, they're going to know stuff, they're going to be bullied for stuff. Exactly. So, I, I mean, if they just seen it, I mean, it would have been a big, big difference if they was actually there at the time. So, they wasn't there at the time, then, yeah. I mean, cool, whatever. So, they seen something. I mean, hey, you can't, you can't stop what they see. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Okay. You can't really stop what they see. All right, all right. All right. Let me move on to uh, there's another big you know we stick it to the NFL right now. There's a, another big story in NFL. I'm the, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you call it winning, but I'm pretty sure if you saw on social media, you, TMZ, Hollywood Access, you know uh, all, all that uh, talked about it. Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey as part of a new power couple with uh, the pop star Taylor Swift. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know you heard of her. Um, they're the new power couple. My my, my question to you: What other you know, with off the top, top of your head, other sports athlete and, you know, mega superstar in any at genre, whether it's, you know, singing or acting or whatever, or, or, I mean, actress or whatever, do you think could be the, that type of equivalent of power couple of them two? Um, I mean, I honestly, I really don't know. I mean, I've only, like, you yeah, know, you don't know. You, you don't know. Me be in that little area with yeah. the sports and everything, I don't really pay attention to to mm -hmm. that stuff, you know, everything yeah, yeah. like that. But of course, like the whole uh, Taylor and 
the other Strap guy or whatever. Coffee. That's yeah. I mean, that's something that's it's, like I said, it's twenty twenty three. So that's it's quick. It's out there it's on the socials, quick and everything like that. So that's the only reason why I know about that, or else I wouldn't yeah. know. know I mean, and that stuff them. is gonna be like more of the norm. I mean, I feel like you you. I mean, stuff like this been goes on, but so I, I just feel like this is just gonna be more normalized. You're gonna you're gonna just see more, you know, celebrities dating celebrities and and like you you bring in like the TMZ uh, pop world or uh, actresses world to the sports world. You're gonna see you're gonna see much more uh, those those world intertwine. Right. Speaking of another, uh, I guess power couple, what have you, Megan Thee Stallion, she has a new boyfriend. Uh, a soccer player, uh, Rumel uh, Lukaku, uh, many people. Now, the question I gave this to you was, was prior to her releasing that Cobra song and explaining the reasons, I guess, perhaps why the breakup for, you know, I guess right. uh, her ex was, was cheating on her. So, but then when I originally had, um, had this question for you, my, my, my question was just about, was it really about the money? Because prior to the Cobra song, people was just congratulating and happy her that she dates somebody that's in her tax bracket rather than a, a regular guy. And my, my thing is kind of like, as long as a regular person, regardless of how much they make, is doing those loyal, loving things and the genuine things and treating you the way that you're supposed to be treated consistently, genuinely doing that, uh, what's, what, what's the problem if you make it significant more than him? I know you're a female. I would like to, you know, get your feelings about that. But, you know, I'm just saying that, Regardless, if the, you if you could just say the one thing wrong about him is that I make so much more than him. If that's the only one thing bad that you can say about your man and everything else is perfect, I personally don't feel like what's the problem because you're going to be missing out on your blessing looking for somebody in your tax bracket and then they missing so many things that you value, truly, you know? Right. So, I mean, as far as that situation goes, um... My thing is, all right, we're not talking about, like, regular, average people like us, whatever. We talk about people that got actual money yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Like, yeah. Megan Thee Stallion, she got her money. She got her own money. She's advertising. Making, she's in the uh, the movie or whatever, mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, she's making she's making hits and stuff. Yeah, she's okay. yeah, she good, good. She got her money. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, all right, she come across a guy. You know, she she's knowing what he do, like what his ta what, what he do, how he make his money, like what he like what he got going on. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, exactly. So when you think about it, like it's like either she truly, genuinely wanted to be with him, truly, genuinely loved him, whatever the case may be, or she, uh, let's say, uh, females be in that predicament where. They love to be with a man that make less than them or has nothing going for real, for real, because they like to be in control. Okay. You never know. Okay. But it was never given that. I don't mm -hmm. know. Like, I'll be, yeah. like I said, we can't touch a little bit. But it was never mm -hmm. given that. But, like I said, that was the second. You know, you can never, you never know for real. Yeah, but then it's, again, it's, it's, like. The situation is different when it comes to that. Yeah. It just make more sense. I mean, come on. Like, you grown. You a grown woman. Mm -hmm. And I would, it would really hurt the heart to know that you was just messing with this man to be more in control. I, I, I yeah, exactly. Just like females exactly. that. Exactly take a man in because they make less and they doing less just so they can have control and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. That's it's not it's cool. About so the control, the power. In her yes. situation, I feel like she truly, genuinely loved him and stuff like that, but we don't know what going on behind closed doors, yeah, exactly. the shade room and stuff. Yeah. Don't know what going on behind closed doors. They only know what people post. We assume rumors mm. get spread. So, like, regardless if she did something, he did something, they didn't work out. But at some point, though, like I said, at some point, she definitely was talking to that talking to that guy. Maybe yeah, yeah. Probably, I mean, I would hope it was after they. I, I mean, I, 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 I personally believe there was some overlap, but I mean, I'm just thinking realistically. I mean, there might be some overlap, but as long as it was mm. respectful and everything, yeah. then that's when it's acceptable, at least. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. So yeah, we're gonna move on to another trend. I mean. This is a, a a big thing going on in the 2023 era. Obviously, somebody popular talked about it on a podcast, and we're just going to bitch it up. But this this is a common thing amongst amongst females. So I just kind of want to get your your perspective on why females is just so so blunt with uh their 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 personal business nowadays in 2023. Uh, Hornets forward P.J. Washington, his baby mom Brittany Renner, 
uh, I guess she's a social media phenom um, for whatever reason. Uh, but she was on the podcast, my guy, uh, on Club Shay Shay, his podcast, and she was just chopping it up. So uh, forthcoming and honest about her, 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 her sexual history, her body count, um, how many guys she slept with in, in a short span of time, and the reasons why her relationships is with men because of her baby father, prior to that because of her father and and, and going uh being such an open book uh to that extent i understand um i guess to a certain extent but i mean the the lack of a filter i mean i i mean i'm gonna have to push back on that me personally i think you know i guess everything should not be for the masses me personally but uh what's your feelings about it because uh i do believe in, in obviously in the songs and multiple female podcasts and stuff you see on social media females it's just blunt about uh whatever it is that they're doing regardless of whatever anybody thinks i mean honestly i feel like i mean just like a lot of people say like i just certain certain stuff shouldn't yeah. be posted yeah, yeah exactly, exactly you got you got social media influencers or whatever but they're getting paid to do that you know you have regular females yeah. you know that's posting their everyday life and stuff like that. Then, you know, unfortunate circumstances come about and everything. So it's like, not everything should be posted, you know, but you mm. have females that post their whole life, every yeah. movement, every, every, every breath, like every dollar mm -hmm. they spend, like, oh. So, and, and my thing is like, how, I understand it's a, it's a you thing. You know, a female is Thinking about it's a I, you know nobody's gonna tell me what I'm going to do so it's what I'm, I'm gonna do whatever I want to be you know regardless of what everybody think but how and you know how is that fair to whoever partner genuinely and if they know like every, the, the the world the public knows so much of your business and and you don't hold nothing like sacred or private or whatever regardless of whatever you did um like you know so like if the world knows your business and you know how's that fair to whatever partner because you know men genuinely regardless of if it is true they don't want the whole world to know they don't want people to know you right. know what i'm saying regardless of whatever you've done in the past uh they just feel like you know what well, can i just remain closed doors um truthfully like men across the board and uh and you know the females gonna say well uh they're gonna set me for who uh, they that person is going to set you for regardless but it's just like you know why do you got to be so forthcoming to to the world about this take this to social media such and so, so on and so forth you know yeah i i don't know i still say i still say the same thing mm -hmm. every not everything should be posted keep it to a minimum i mean you can do whatever you want yeah, but i yeah, mean like yeah. i said people out here are getting paid top dollar to post it everyday life that they do that are you doing it for free i mean it just make it it's just i don't know like okay now now what advice would you give athletes to like, like avoid trouble or certain navigate certain um uh, downfalls that can happen because of females uh, i would definitely you know. say definitely i mean definitely watch like watch your surroundings mm -hmm. watch who you talk to watch who you be around watch who the people you be around be around stuff like that yeah, exactly, i yeah. mean i'm not saying like you gotta live your everyday life like oh like maybe she's this or maybe she's mm -hmm. that or who is that and stuff like that i mean live your life but be careful at the same time you're an athlete at the end of the day you know what come with being an athlete yeah you might never think about it you might think all the females want to be on you know some females is really there to set you up some females are really there to put you in positions and stuff like that and it's you know just the main thing is watch your surroundings that's it you gotta be smart about it at the end of the day i mean any athlete they put themselves in that's in any situation they kind of put themselves there because you wasn't watching your surroundings maybe the mm -hmm. money got to you maybe the yeah. alcohol got to you the yeah. drugs got to you a little bit careless yeah. a little bit of yeah. selfishness or whatever mm -hmm. going on but i mean i really feel like i said celeb like athletes celebrities whatever you want to call yeah, them yeah exactly don't, you gotta don't watch your surroundings you're, you're, you're not always gonna make friends you're gonna make enemies you have enemies of enemies you have friends that has enemies so yeah, yeah so watch so what you're doing at the end of the day you can have fun live your life you know go buy the mansion mm -hmm. go buy the mm -hmm. lamborghini yeah. track car whatever you want to have to go to town yeah but watch what you're watch what you're doing yeah simple 
Yeah, move correctly, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about high school athletes and college athletes finally getting paid for, you know, their their, their name and image and likeness, you know, uh, that used to be illegal before, but now high school and uh, college uh, students, you know, based off a big company, they deem them, you know, to be the, you know, they, they can make money off of them by, as, uh, spot, you know, uh, sponsorship deals like uh, doing car commercials or a product commercial, or, you know, any, you know, just be, you know, advertiser products now. I mean, I would definitely say, like, like I said, I don't be really into all that or yeah. whatever, but I would definitely say that's a good, you know, good outcome, good turnout for them. I mean, shout out to them. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's finally happening. They finally making a difference, finally making a statement. So, okay. Let, let me get to a, a, a real sticky, messy situation. Uh, this, this, how, what's your feelings on? Oh, I guess a player being axed out out the league. Let's be real. We're gonna keep it real and keep it Benji because of the sexual presence, whether you buy or not. This basketball player, Dwight Howard. People know, yes, he's old. You know, get got up there in the age, but he could still be on somebody's team and contribute. We understand that clearly because of the fact that it's known, and then we got uh, lawsuits. Uh, I would get him of sex, sexually, you know, assaulting males. Uh, his sexual preference of being bi. We're going to be real. Locker rooms do not want that in, in their locker room. And somebody that is talented and, and, and is going to be in the Hall of Fame, he's definitely going to be a Hall of Famer, is out the league, some would say, you know, years early, you know, too soon because of his uh, sexual preference. What's your feelings on that? Because... Me personally, I know that's what it is. I mean, nobody, I know that personally. You can look and fact check anything. Locker rooms are sacred and they can't, they can't have that. And they already been had other teams and other locker rooms. He bounced around in the league, had problems with him in several different locker rooms. I mean, he, he's the type of person he'll grab players balls on live television during games. Stuff like that. Talk about his plan. Oh, the, our video done kicked out. Oh, we got to get her back in uh, on her. I think her video done kicked out, so we're going to see. She can get back on her. Hopefully her service can come back on. See if she can get back on her. Sorry about that. Wait, we, conversations just, just, we just started getting real, real, real spicy and real, real to the heat, and then, uh, then, then they had cut off. Oh, the combo was in. Actually, good right there. I was ready to hear um, her point of, point of view, all, all that messy stuff involving that guy, man. This is crazy. But uh, give her a second to get her connection back on. This happened uh, to, to us uh, yesterday with the with the, with the uh, Mike with the cheese interview. My aunt, uh, his connection was was going on and off. Till we get, till we get her video situated, we uh, could be here stalling the time. But I appreciate everybody tapping in to the first sports sports show, and checking out this this uh this live show, this interview with Shayla. Waiting for her to get her connection back on. Got a couple more questions. We um, if we can get her back back on before we get out of here. Uh, is this, this conversation is just it's, it's getting real extra good? But I definitely wanted to hear what she was about to say because she was definitely about to say something about that too. Let me see. I don't know about the connection. Come on now. Let's just give her a second to see if she can get her connection back on. Just, but yeah, like I said, definitely appreciate everybody tapping in, joining the videos. I mean, since she's online, I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe her uh, Wi Fi connection messed up, but it says she's definitely online, so I don't know. 
I don't know, just give her a couple more minutes. If it's not, then I just wrap, I wrap the show up. Maybe something happened for a connection, but just give her a couple more minutes to see if she uh, tap back in with the show. Um, but then she can call her rap if I uh, can't get her connection back on. You know, this happens sometimes. Depend on, depending on where you had to connect, you know, people's Wi Fi connection be horrible. Uh, but yeah, everybody that's tuning into the first bar sports show, uh, this is what we do have guests come on, chop it up about, about the topics. I'll be, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe to the YouTube page, just uh, run up the YouTube page. Obviously, I'm on Instagram and my audio platforms, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify Podcasts. Um, uh, Spotify platform and also uh, social medias, like I said. So, yeah, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend about the show. Yeah, tap in and um, yeah, definitely subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, probably gonna get out of here in, in, in one more minute if her, if she can't get back on. Uh, probably just try to get her to come back on another uh, you know another show. So, so it's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah. I'll I'm glad I definitely got the time that I did get with her because it was definitely a dope, uh, you know, dope conversation and um, time was just flying just like that. Like I said, just give it a couple more seconds, see if she can come back on, give it a minute or so. And not, then we'll uh, just be a wrap for another another episode of Press Bar Sports Show, uh, episode 171. You know, we just continue just going and going, the same thing, stop it. I said we let it cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. That's what we do. Um, yeah, I don't think um, connections coming back on. But try to send her a request one more time, see if she she gets on. If not, then we get out of here in a couple seconds. Yeah, connection. Watch. Uh, so it's a basketball game, that Thursday night football game. I know Panthers and Bears aren't, but I ain't, I ain't fooling with them. I ain't got time to be, I ain't got time to really do with that. With that, I watch some basketball. Uh, Trey Young, Trey Young and the Magic, to tune into that. Well, so, this was good. This is this, this is fun. Like I said, I appreciate everybody joining. Um, watch another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. Like I said, we're gonna let this cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. We out. Thanks again to Shayla. For joining me on the Fresh Bar Sports Show for the time that um, she did ha have for me, don't worry about it. We're gonna get her back on here for another episode. Um, don't worry, don't worry about it. But appreciate everybody's support. Please definitely subscribe to the YouTube page, and uh, we out. Stay tuned for more episodes.